hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have square root of c minus c equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here you see that we have a radical term involved in the left hand side now first we need to remove this radical sign uh, from here uh, for this first we will uh, write this radical term separately and we move all of the other terms to the right hand side so for this we move this minus c to the right hand side and it will be written as square root of c equals to 5 plus c and because we solve this problem for the values of c and now here uh, in order to remove this uh, radical sign we need to take the squaring on both of the sides uh, so that we will take squaring in this way uh, square root of c and its whole square equals to 5 plus c whole square and now here further in the next step we need to apply here the nice algebraic formula in the right hand side and you see here we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this uh, nice uh, formula which we can apply here in the right hand side so that our right hand side is written as in the left hand side you see here this 2 and this k root are gone and we will get here c is equals to and here in the right hand side we have our a is equals to 5 and our b is equals to c so according to this formula we can expand this square identity as in this form first you have a square here our a is 5 square plus 2 times of a b again our a is 5 and b is c plus b square b is c square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and we have in the left hand side is c is equals to this is 5 square and 5 square equals to 25 plus this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 c and plus this is our c square and now uh, in the next step we need uh, to uh, re rewrite this equation into the standard form for this we move this c to the right hand side and we write this term as c square plus 10 c and plus 25 and when we move the c in the right hand side it will becomes minus c and this whole equation equals to zero and now in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have this is c square and this is 10 c minus c equals to 9 c and plus this is over 25 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this equation will become uh, quadratic in c variable uh, so uh, you very well know about that how to solve the quadratic equation so there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation and the first method is factorization method the second is completing square and the third method is by applying the quadratic formula so here i can just use the quadratic formula to solve this problem first we will write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 9 and c equals to 25 so this is the our uh, coefficients of the above equation and now here we state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now in the next step uh, we need uh, to uh, put the values of a b and c in this nice formula and this uh, formula is written as c is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 9 and when we put it here it will becomes minus 9 plus minus square root of b square so b is 9 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 25 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step uh, we need some simplifications here and it will be written as this is minus 9 plus minus square root of 9 square equals to 81 minus 4 times of 25 
is equals to 100 and it is divided by 2. So uh, when we uh, subtract these two values it will be written as uh, minus 9 plus minus square root of uh, 81 minus 100 is equals to minus 19 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to more simplify the terms and we have this is minus 9 plus minus here we need to apply this square root sign separately on 19 and a negative sign so it will be written as square root of 19 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, you see here uh, if negative sign appears inside the square root so it is equals to iota so this will be written as minus 9 plus minus square root of 19 into this is square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now here finally we have uh, the two solution sets of the given equation are uh, c1 is equals to minus 9 plus square root of 19 into iota and it is divided by 2 the second root is c2 equals to minus 9 plus minus square root of 19 into iota and it is divided by 2 so there are two complex roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos